Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier? <laughs> Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you're asking yourself, is this a dog breed that's easy to train or hard to train? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing that and my experience of owning Bella, my Boston Terrier, of over 10 years, as well as asking other Boston Terrier owners what their experience has been like, whether or not this breed is easy to train or hard to train. Be sure to stay till the end, because I'm gonna give you five tips on how to best train a Boston Terrier. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston. And in today's video, I just wanna cover are Boston Terriers easy to train? The short answer is absolutely yes. Boston Terriers are very easy to train because they're an intelligent dog breed and they're also eager to please. This is according to American Kennel Club. This combination of being a eager to please dog as well as an intelligent dog breed makes them the perfect dog to train because they want to please you, their owner. First thing I want to cover is what other Boston Terrier owners say about this dog breed and their ability to be easy to train. So I conducted a poll on Twitter there I had 82 respondents, are Boston Terriers easy to train? 79% of them said, yes, absolutely, Bostons are easy to train. The next thing I did was ask the Boston Terrier Society Facebook community to see what their responses were. I didn't do a poll, I just asked them, are Boston Terriers easy to train? Please explain, just so I can get some more in-depth information as to how they train their Boston Terrier. If you wanna get this full list, be sure to check out the article, I have it in the show notes below, are Boston Terriers easy to train? It's on the bostonterriersociety.com website. Check it out there. I'm just gonna give you three highlights from those 200 posts. The very first one that I wanna highlight is Donna. Absolutely they are, referring to them being easy to train. She says, my rings a bell hanging from the door to be let out for the bathroom. They roll over, set, speak, set at the table, and my oldest sings when they sing happy birthday. Boston Terriers are easy to train. I think that's pretty impressive that she gets it to ring a bell. I'm sure if we did it with Bella, she might be able to figure that out too. Either way, she just likes to sit by the door and then we know it's time to go. The next person I wanna highlight is Rachel. She says, mine is a year old and knows all the basic commands. I think it was pretty easy. So she has a younger Boston and she was able to train it from the very beginning. And the last person I wanna highlight is Nick, which I think he has some pretty insightful information that could help you if you're trying to decide whether or not this breed is right for you. Every dog is different. The breed in and of itself is well known for being easier to train, but that doesn't mean they all are. Boston Terriers are generally very intelligent. You have to be steady with what you teach them because they can be stubborn. That's like a double-edged sword of having an intelligent dog. Sometimes they're too smart for their own good Whatever you put into training, your pup will get out of it. They're wonderful dogs. So just to let you know, every Boston Terrier is different, right? So the more you train it, the more you're gonna get out of that training. Keep that in mind, consistency is key. I hope this give, gave you a general idea of what other Boston Terrier owners have to say about the breed in their ability to be trained easily. Okay, as far as Emily and I's personal story, you know, whenever Bella was younger, as I recall, she was easy to train. But here more recently, this was two years ago, whenever our first child, Sophia, was born, Bella was already eight years old at this point. Being around an infant just made her shake and tremble all the time. We needed to know, and we wanted to find out, you know, what we could do to help eliminate this. We ended up following some of Caesar Milan's tips, which I know some of you might be against Caesar Milan, and that's okay. You don't have to follow these, but it worked for us, and that's just my personal experience. So by all means, find what works best for your dog. But basically what we did, and this helped build Bella's confidence, was we taught her not to jump up on us. We taught her not to pull a leash whenever we were walking. We taught her to set. We're not consistent with this whenever it comes to setting to get her food, but we had her do that. We have her wait by the door. We allow ourselves to go out first. Whatever process, it helped build Bella's confidence where then she wasn't shaking around Sophia anymore and they play great. And then whenever our second child was born, Samuel, she never had any issues whatsoever. This could have been a combination of, you know, just Bella being around our children more often, 
But either way, we did that type of training and she stuck with it as an eight-year-old Boston. Consistency is the key. Training your Boston is easy. You just need to do it and you need to do it often. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe just so you can get the latest videos from the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. My five tips for helping you train your Boston Terrier. Tip number one, when it comes to training puppies, you need to keep it informal and entertaining. What does this mean? This just means keeping it lighthearted, right? You don't want to yell at the dog for any reason whenever it comes to training. You just need to keep it positive. Tip number two, avoid using treats. So I found whenever we were training Bella, whenever I used big treats, it was just hard to break up. So use kibble, whatever its dog food is, and then just take a little piece and give that as its treat. Maybe at the end of the whole thing, you can give it a bigger dog treat. I just find it's hard to break up. And then once Bella eats too many dog treats, she starts getting funky poops. Tip number three, you wanna keep the sessions short. You should be integrating this training just throughout your daily activities that you do with your Boston. This way, it just doesn't become overwhelming. No training session, I think, should be over 15 minutes long. I lose focus and Bella for sure loses focus. Tip number four, the best way to train a Boston Terrier is through positive reinforcement. Kind of like with tip number one, keeping it fun and entertaining. Same thing whenever it comes to adult Boston Terriers. They don't do well with yelling because they are a sensitive dog breed, so you want to keep it lighthearted and fun. And this leads to tip number five, end on a positive note. Like I was saying, using smaller kibble, maybe at the end of the day when you end your training session, or you can be giving it a toy, some type of love and affection. You just want to end the session so next time you start a session, whatever it might be, your Boston's going to love it. Question of the day, what's the very first thing you're going to teach your Boston Terrier puppy whenever you get it? Leave it in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about Boston Terriers. That way you can get the latest videos from us. Until next time, life is better with Boston.